Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In this video, we will talk about the adding and subtracting radical expressions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here are the four examples that we will discuss within this video on how to add or subtract these radical expressions. So let's start with number one. But before I do that, let me give you the basic rules on how to add radical expressions. Here, to add radical expressions, we need to have the same radicals. Again, we need to have the same radicals. What do I mean by the same radicals? First, they must have the same index or the number outside the radical sign and the radicand or the number inside the radical sign. So basically, we, will, we can apply our knowledge about adding polynomials like I will add 2x plus 5x in this case since the variables are the same I will just copy x then add the numbers which is 2 and 5 2 plus 5 is 7 the answer is 7x we have the same case here we have here the same radical which is the square root of 3 and here, the square root of 3, we can simply copy it after adding the coefficients outside. 6 plus 2, that is equal to 8. And then all you need to do is to copy the radical sign or the radical. And as you can see, the answer is simply 8 square root of 3. Now let's go with item number 2. We have here 14 square root of 5 minus 9 square root of 5. So how are we going to subtract these radicals. Let us check if they are the same. Definitely, they are the same. They have the same index and the radicand. Now, all we need to do is to subtract the numbers. 14 minus 9, the answer is 5. And then copy the common radical, which is the square root of 5. And as you can see, this is the answer for item number 2. 5 square root of 5. Now let's move on with example number 3. For number 3, we have 25 square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 27. Now the problem here is that these radicals are not the same. Though they have the same index, they don't have the same radicand or the number inside the radical sign. So what we need to do is we need to do something or we can simplify one of these radicals to make the same radical. Example here, this one, square root of 3, cannot be simplified. So all we need to do is to copy this expression. We have 25 and square root of 3. And here, as you can see, we have here a 2. And what we can, can do something, or can we do something about 27? Yes, we can factor it out. 27 is the same as 9 times 3. So our next step is to copy this one. Square root of 3 plus we'll extract the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3. So we will put it that we will put that outside. That is 2 times 3. This 3, three it came from the square root of 9. Then let's copy the square root of 3. Now simplify, we have 25 square root of 3, then 2 times 3, which is 6. So what we have here is the square root of 3. And as you can see, we have now the same radicals. We have 25 plus 6, which is 31. Then copy the common radical, which is the square root of 3. And this is the answer for item number 3. Now let's move on with item number 4. For number 4, we have the same problem with number 3. They don't have the same radical. So we can do is to extract the square roots of this 32 and 8. So we have here 8. And square root of this 32 can be factored out as 16 times 2. Now, since we are factoring 32 like 16 times 2, we have a clue now that one of the factors of 8 must be 2. For us to simplify. So what we have here is minus 4. 
then this 8 can be factored out as 4 times 2. Except the square root of 16. 16. Square root of 16 is 4, so it will become 8 times 4, then square root of 2 minus 4. The square root of 4 is 2. We will put that outside, outside times 2, then square root of 2. Multiply 8 times 4 is 32. Square root of 2 minus 4 times 2, which is 8, then square root of 2. Then, as you can see, the case here is that they are the same. Na. You can subtract 32 and 8. The answer is 24. And then copy the common radical, which is equal to 2. And as you can see, this is the answer, guys. Now, guys, as part of our routine is that I will give you an example. So I want you to simplify these numbers or add or subtract this num these radicals like this is number 5. I want you to, an to answer 3 times square root of 12 plus 5 square root of 3. So let me see in the comment section what is your answer here. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to add or subtract radicals. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!